Andrea from Chasing Whimsy once again. I have another requested tutorial here. I'm going to just show you quickly how to use both the curves and the levels tool to uh, adjust skin tones when you might have to, uh, you know, every once in a while I just don't quite get it right in the camera or exposure or something like that. Or you just have people who have really different skin tones or the light is hitting different in a different place. And I thought this was a good one to show you uh, since I'm working on it myself again, uh, what we need to do. Um, as you can see on the older sister here, she's quite a bit paler than the other two. And so I wanted to see if I could do some adjustments there. And it, it does take a bit of fiddling. Um, so I may not go right through to the very end of this with you, but I'm going to show you how you do it just so that you can have some idea um, what the procedure is. So I'm just going to turn on the layers that I have. So you can kind of see where I'm at with it because it's still not finished. I've been working on it for a bit here. Um, but you can see here's the difference. There's before and after. She's a little bit bluish purple in there because I'm not finished adjusting, but I'm going to just show you basically the steps and how you use those um, tools as adjustment layers to work on skin. So the first thing, the first thing to always try is just darkening the skin a little bit because that can actually introduce some colors uh, right there that can make drastic improvements just right away. If you have overexposed skin or anything like that, a curves adjustment can help. So you're going to go down to your curves adjustments layers down here. You want curves and stick with just the RGB channel so it's affecting all the colors at once and just grab right here. This is your mid-tones, this is your highlights, and these are your shadows here. So you just want to grab those mid I'm just going to grab it right in the center and I'm going to pull it down a little bit. So if you just watch your skin over here as I pull down Um, obviously it's darkening the whole thing because we're going to just put a mask on her, but you can see already it's it's starting to look better. So then you're going to invert your mask with control I and paint it on just her. I'm just going to go at 100% here so I can quickly cover everything. <laughs> Pardon all the odd sounds in the background. My poor family has been sick all through the holidays and they've got coughing and things going on back there. Because you'd be a little bit more careful with your <laughs> painting than I'm doing. I'm just trying to do this quickly to show you. If you ever want to check your mask, if you hit the um, <coughs> backwards slash button, which is right under your backspace key, you can see where the mask is and it can allow you to see any spots that you've missed. You can just quickly go over those. That's a real fast way of checking your edges. Okay, so I think we've got the majority of it there. Good. Okay, and then hit that again to go back. So as you can see, let me just turn it off and on here. It's already substantially better. It's a little bit too dark now and it needs some color some color changes. But I'm going to just show you how the different um, channels work. I'm actually going to just lighten that a bit. Once you have it masked off, you can do whatever you want. As you go down, it goes darker. As you go up, it goes lighter, right? And different different directions that you pull do different things. So once it's masked, just muck around with it. Stick it back in the middle and just put it kind of where you want it. So I probably want it about that dark. So that's just barely below the center line. Now up in here, you, this is the RGB, so it's affecting everything. In here, you've got a red, a green, and a blue channel. So with skin, you're for the most part, you're going to be reading, dealing with the red and the blue. So on the red channel, you have red, and the opposite of red is green. So one direction is going to turn it redder, one will turn it greener. That's how these, these lines and balances work. So if you grab from the center, because we've got the mask on, it's only going to affect the skin. So just, just to see what they do, just start pulling. If you grab from the center and go this way, it's going to introduce green. And if you go this way, it's going to introduce red. So depending on which, you, and this way is going to go brighter, this way is going to go dimmer, um, you know, less vibrant, etc. as you're kind of moving around in here. So in the center, again, it's going to affect the mid-tone, so it's usually where you want to start. Um, so looking at that, she looks, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here to just, so we can get a better look. You may find that you need to do a face and body on separate layers with this because sometimes they react differently to colors. Body skin can be different than face skin or the way there's light hitting it. So feel free to, don't worry about make, doing one of these for the, for the face and one for the a body if you need to. So she's looking a little bit, 
I don't know, it's purpley. It needs some color. You can see there's Mrs. Much Warmer. Her skin's a little bit cool. So the first thing I would do is introduce a little bit of red. So I'm going to be pulling to the left. Again, if you can't remember, just I always forget until I start pulling. Left is red um, and right is green. So if we want to add a little bit of red, I'm going to pull just a little bit left. Very slightly. It won't take hardly any adjustments. So that's affecting the mid-tones. This highlight slider, so if you go this way, it adds red. And see how it's just sort of doing the highlights? And then if you go this way, it's going to add green. So again, depending on what you need, you may not need to add anything in your highlights, but you can um, experiment with that. You can also pull these sliders down here, which is the same as pulling it this way. This side is your shadows. So this way, you see how that's affecting just the shadows? This is introducing green into the shadow areas because I went right. If you pull it upwards, you introduce red into your shadow areas. So you just need to sort of look. You can compare to another skin beside it if you need to. Um, there's some color issues in her skin too that I'll be working on, but right now let's just focus on that. So I've done the red. It's probably a little bit too red, but let's just go over to the blue channel just to see the comparison. So again, this direction is going to introduce yellow. This direction is going to introduce blue. So because we have the skin as a combination of red and yellow, we want to add a little bit of yellow to her skin. So I'm going to ever so slightly pull it right. Now I can see right now in the shadow areas there's too much yellow. So I might want to balance that by adding some blue. And again, you see how it's just touching the shadows as I pull it up? So just by adding a tiny bit, I can tone that down if I need to. She probably doesn't need that. Let's check the shadows or the highlights. So here I'm, this is on the highlights. See how this does the blue? This way it's going to add yellow. You can see where it's adding it, right? It's not affecting some parts and it's affecting others. So I think that I don't really need, I'm just going to add a, I'm just going to bring down, it's a little bit too yellow. So on those highlights, I'm going to bring that down just a hair. You may not be able to see what I'm doing, but I can just very subtly see that that sort of killed some of that yellow that's there. So let's just turn the whole thing off. So there's where her skin was, very pale and kind of bluish, gray, kind of dead looking. And now we've added in some nice color to that. Um, so that's using curve. Another way to further finesse that, or maybe you can, do, you might necessarily need to use the curves, but you can also use levels to do the same thing. So if you put on a levels um, adjustment layer, same thing, you have your channels up here. So you, this is your RGB, so this is going to affect your overall brightness or um, color things. You can reset down here if you want to go back to where it was. We want to have just affecting her skin again. If you don't know this little trick, if you want to duplicate a mask, because I want the same area to be affected, if you click down on this mask, hold down the Alt key and drag it up, it will copy that mask to your other layer. So I now have um, this mask affecting just the skin. As you can see, as I yank this back and forth, you can see what it's doing there. So um, I'm okay, I think, for the main colors, but here is where you can also sometimes do some, sometimes just using this levels, if you just need a little bit of um, punch to your skin, this can actually work really well. And the sliders that you'll tend to want to deal with with this one are the, I find I use the highlights the more most on this, but it depends how much you need to adjust. So again, one of the, this is the red channel, so one of them is going to add red if you do here. If you do the bottom one, it will add the green. So you can just, you know, com compare the different, this one is green coming this way, this one is red coming this way for the shadows, and same in the middle. So with this, it almost looks a little bit too red to me, so I might just add, see, I forget again, so I might just go bring this little bit of green in, and you can see how I've just killed, there's where it was quite red, and I'm just going to bring that in just a hair, and that has adjusted that. I'm also going to do on the mid-tones a little bit, because that was just the highlights that it was affecting. See, that way is red. This way is going to be green. One in the center is, that's too red. Maybe somewhere like that. Let's turn that on and off. So there's where it was. I don't know if you can even see that, but I've just, I've killed that bright red just a little bit, and it might be a bit too much. As you do this, you might adjust back and forth. Let's go into the blue channel. Again, with your highlights, this way is going to go blue. This one's going to go yellow. I don't need more yellow, I don't think. And I don't think I need even... See, if I go this way, she starts looking 
blue again. So I probably don't need to adjust that one. But you can kind of see how that works. The green channel, you may need to use this one. Green is um, with green and magenta is the opposite. So with this one, you're going to add green or you're going to add magenta -y color. So depending again on what you need for that skin tone, sometimes a touch of magenta. If I just add a touch of magenta in here, it might just help make it a little bit more natural looking. Just, it's just it's a balancing act back and forth to get it exactly where you might want it. So that is, there's with just the levels, or just the curves, sorry. This is with adding the levels to help neutralize that a little bit. And I think that that looks better. I'm just going to group those so I can show you the before and after. So here is where her skin was, pale, and here is with those adjustments, making it a little bit more um, colorful. It probably looks a little bit too yellow still. I'm going to have to do a little bit more finessing, but I just wanted you to see how those things work and how you can use them um, to work with skin. You could also, once you have that whole group done, you can turn it right off and then just bring up your opacity until you have enough color in the skin. She is paler than the sister, so it doesn't have to be totally dark. If I bring it up like that, I can have um, just that little hint of color in there, and then I could open it up, and if I want to make it darker, I can just go back to my curves layer, and on the RGB, just pull that center down a little bit more, and I can darken down. See, I can darken down her skin. I can give her as much tan as I want. So you can just, maybe after you've done some color stuff, just uh, add a little bit more of that to help work on your skin tones. So there again, before, quite pale, and now we have some color to work with. So that is how you use curves and levels to play with skin tones. Give it a try!